Hey there, my name is Teresa Grobecker. I'm an equity partner at US Capital Global and I'm here with Vanessa. And we are talking about oncogenesis today. Sounds great, thanks for having me. Absolutely, so what is oncogenesis? So oncogenesis is a company that is bringing easy access, low cost cervical cancer screening to the public. And it was founded by Peter, uh, who sadly lost his wife to cervical cancer. And so he personally felt compelled to bring very low cost technology um, to the world. So right now the process is really difficult. You have to get into a facility, see a doctor, get a sample taken, which is painful, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. costly, and not very efficient as far as technology goes. You get results. Sometimes there, sometimes there's a cell that is undetermined yeah. as healthy or unhealthy, and you have to go back in, etc. So in the meantime, if you really do have cervical cancer and aren't able to catch it in a timely fashion, um, you go downhill quickly. So. It's so tragic. It's uncomfortable. It's an inconvenience to make mm -hmm. it into the doctor's office for sure. So how does oncogenesis improve this process of screening and detecting for women? Well, their device is more along the lines of drugstore style pregnancy test. So you get the device, you can do it at home, you drop it in the mail, it goes to a facility that tests it. It is a protein marker test, so it's very effective, efficient, and low cost. You get the results back quickly, and if you come back positive, you go in immediately for access and help. So in emerging markets, this is, it's gold. It's so helpful. It'll really save a lot of women's lives. And that's what the industry needs, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the healthcare industry needs more tools sure. for women to keep us healthy, right? Yeah. And, and happy. Mm -hmm. um, so what's the involvement between U.S. Capital and Oncogenesis? We are doing the capital raise for the company. And um, I won't go too in depth into numbers because this is more just about their, their mission statement and yeah. how we can save women's lives. Uh, but we're very excited to be partnered with this incredible company. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And how can people learn more about Oncogenesis? We have a lot of information on our website. Um, they, anyone can visit their website as well. Cervical cancer is a real problem in women's health. Can you talk about the impact that it has? Yes, right now, um, one woman dies every two minutes globally of cervical cancer. So if we can curb this number at all, that in itself would be a huge impact. Yeah, absolutely. We live in the United States. We're in a developed country. How have we learned about cervical cancer here stateside? Um, and what are, those, what are those lessons learned? And how does that help women internationally and in developing countries? Right now in developing countries, 85% um, of the global death rate is in countries that don't have easy access to medical care or first world medical care. Um, so if we could curb that number at all, it would be incredible. But in the United States, once the pap smear test was introduced, the death rate decreased by 50%. That's massive. That's so many women is, that are saved really by huge. early detection. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Yeah. So bringing this device at its low cost and easy access and efficiency would greatly cut that number. Absolutely. I can see how it's useful here in the, in the United States as well as in developing countries. Mm -hmm. It just seems so easy to use. You can do it at home. Um, and then it just saves people's lives. It's yeah. amazing. Exactly. When you don't have to go out of your way to get this test done. I mm -hmm. mean, I know I skip appointments all the time, <laughs> personally. So if it, they come to you or, you know, it's just there for you. Yeah, I think I'll find you? any excuse to not yeah. <laughs> make it to that appointment. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just to be able to do it at home, yeah. privately and discreetly, I think mm -hmm. is a really big benefit. And to have it be more effective than the current test out there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a win for everyone the whole way around, women here and overseas. This seems to be like the first phase. Um, this test can test for um, cancer, mm -hmm. right? So what else is in the pipeline? Because it seems like something, like a tool that can be done at home, um, can offer a lot of other benefits. So what are some of the other benefits that are coming down the pipe for this technology? 
So not only can it test for cervical cancer, but it'll also be able to test for uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, yeast, syphilis, HPV, and HPV. So um, just across the board, being able to increase women's health care at a low cost. So getting into drugstores eventually is the goal. So you don't have to try, it's just there. Mm-hmm.